I'm Robert Niven, CEO and founder of Carbon Cure Technologies. Today I'd like to talk to you about something you may not spend a lot of time thinking about, concrete. As you know, concrete is the backbone of the built environment. It allows us to make impressive structures that are all around us. Despite entering into the information age, an emergence of space age products, concrete will continue to be the dominant building product of the future. It's abundant, resilient, local, and cheap. Yet, it's still made with cement. And cement has a very high carbon footprint. In fact, cement, the glue in concrete, is second only to power generation as the largest industrial greenhouse gas emitter. The problem gets worse, or better, depending on how you look at it. We're expecting a spike in cement production in the coming decades. So we've got an essential material that is incredibly carbon intensive and is experiencing rapid growth. This just isn't a problem, it's a big problem. I looked at images like these and couldn't help but wonder if there was a better way. There is. But first you must look closer at the problem before understanding the solution. To make cement, you need to heat limestone at about 1500 degrees Celsius. In order to do this, it takes a lot of fossil fuels. But even this isn't the main issue. The central issue is that when you convert limestone to cement, you must break the molecule in two. And doing this releases CO2 gas. In fact, about half a pound of CO2 is released for every pound of cement that's produced. And that's just relating to the single reaction on its own. Our breakthrough was that we found that concrete can actually be the solution to itself. Let me explain. CO2 can be permanently recycled back into concrete as limestone to make not just greener but cheaper and stronger concrete. This is an example of a new form of technologies called carbon capture and beneficial reuse or simply carbon recycling. We are applying this technology to concrete production. As we all know concrete is produced with five standard elements water, aggregates made of stone and sand, cement, which is the glue that holds the aggregates together and is activated by water, and some chemi chemical admixtures. But what we do is we introduced carbon dioxide into the actual manufacturing process of concrete, and it's this that makes concrete green. Let me give you an example. We've started off this process by introducing it into the production of concrete blocks. We saw that as a suitable first step. Concrete block production is represented in this image. This plant could be just about anywhere in the world. There are five steps to making concrete products, or blocks specifically. First you take your inputs, those are batched together at step one. That concrete mix design is sent by conveyor belt to step two, which is the block machine. Now the block machine doesn't just make blocks. In fact, it has a mold, an interchangeable mold, which allows it to make dozens of different product types depending on the different mold. In this case, we're showing block. As the concrete enters into the block machine, once every 10 seconds, it's compacted and a set of new products are ejected from the machine. It can be between 4 to 12 products at a time, and that's every 10 seconds all day long. When they first leave the block machine, they're strong enough to stand up under their own weight, but are still very fragile. Those are sent by conveyor belt or cart to a curing chamber, and it's in the curing chamber that they develop the required strength to be sent out to the product or to the inventory. Curing takes uh, about 8 hours or overnight. And it's highly energy intensive as steam is introduced into the curing chamber to strengthen the products. So what we've done is we've developed a very simple and low cost design where we've actually modified existing components. In this case it shows what we've modified for concrete blocks. This patent pending process allows concrete producers to introduce CO2 into the actual production of concrete products. Now why do we do this? Well, by adding CO2 into precast concrete production, what you do is you form far stronger products at an early stage. And that high strength continues 
to exceed at 7 day and 28 day and so forth. So we do this to make stronger concrete and then precasters are able to convert that higher strength to less waste and defects, new and better products, less cement and less energy which they themselves provide lower GHG intensity. And of course there's the green marketing benefit by being able to provide a low cost green concrete product at scale anywhere in the world. But we're not just stopping there. We're, in fact, we're just getting started. Concrete is all around us and there's a lot more than just blocks. Hundreds of different product types in thousands of cities across the globe. There's a tremendous opportunity in front of us to make concrete green by introducing waste carbon dioxide into the production process. Now the ultimate goal is for us to develop scalable, affordable, and regenerative concrete products. Regenerative. Actually healing the climate by making concrete materials that absorb more CO2 than they produce. We already work in this space and are exposed to some tremendously disruptive technologies that are just starting to enter into the market like ourselves. How we see the future is that the next step will be to integrate these technologies so that we are able to achieve this regenerative concrete product. No, we don't think that our technology in itself can be the silver bullet, but I do firmly believe that integrating these technologies within the next five years will allow us to achieve that goal of a scalable, affordable, regenerative concrete product. So the idea worth spreading is that now it's easy to be green. Why not reuse rather than emit CO2 in concrete manufacturing to simply make greener, better, and cheaper materials? Ultimately, I believe this path will take us to a future where concrete is the solution to itself. I hope you're as excited as I am by what this type of thinking can do for just one industry. We are transforming the space we live in by changing the way buildings are made. Please find me after the session if you have any questions.